There are several ways of getting raster information, that is pixels, out of SketchUp and into a file. The most obvious method is to copy the contents of the screen to the clipboard. You can then paste it into a graphics application like Photoshop. On the PC, you can do that by pressing the Print Screen key while you're in SketchUp. Switch over to Photoshop, create a new document, and paste from the clipboard into the document. You'll have an exact copy of the screen, so you'll need to crop out any of the user interface elements like the menus, the scene tabs, the toolboxes, and so on. And on the Mac, you can do this by pressing Command Shift Zero to create a file. Now, both of these methods work, but they're very limited because you're only copying what you see on the screen to file. A far better method is to use SketchUp's built in functionality up here on the File menu to export to a 2D graphic. Here we can choose from a number of different file types, and before we export, it's important that we click on Options because here we have the option to set the view size. By default, this will be checked, and that means that you'll only export the number of pixels that you have available in your screen resolution, set through the operating system. We can uncheck this and set in a different value here. This will allow us to create a higher resolution raster image directly from SketchUp, and it won't include any of the user interface elements like the menu bar, the toolboxes, and so on. I recommend leaving this checked because it will smooth out the jagged lines, creating a quality that is superior to what you even see on the screen. So I'll go ahead and export, and then we'll be able to open that up in a program like Photoshop and print it out at a higher resolution than you can directly from SketchUp. It's possible to export smooth 360 degree panoramas from SketchUp. But to do this you need two things. A Ruby script called Cubic Pano Out that allows you to export a set of six images representing the faces of a cube. And then you need some third party software to stitch this together into a panorama. And I'll show you an example of just such software called Pano VR, written by Garden Gnome Software. This is something you have to pay for, but I'll just show you how easy it is to create a panorama using this technique. I've opened this model of the Alhambra in Spain, and what I'm going to do is navigate over here into the courtyard, and then I'll press Option C to activate the camera tool, and I'll just stand here and look that way. And then I'll set my eye height up a little bit so that I'm realistically standing here in this courtyard. And then with the script loaded, which is written by John Wabey of Smustard, you can then go ahead and choose Camera, Cubic Pano Out. You need to set the resolution of your square images that you're exporting. And you have the option of creating pages, meaning scenes, from each one of these cubic images if you want. And you have the option of whether or not you want to have the top image exported, that is, the sky. I'll say True and click OK. We're prompted to select an image name, I'll just call this Alhambra, and click Save. Down here on the status bar, it's working. It says it's writing image 1, and now 2, and so on. It's going to work through all six square images and save them on the disk. As soon as the control loads, it starts auto-rotating. We can use the skin down here to navigate the panorama. You can even zoom in and zoom out. Of course you don't necessarily need the skin because you can just drag in the panorama itself to move around. The shift key allows you to zoom in and the command key allows you to zoom out. All in all, it's a very easy way of exporting panoramas from SketchUp.